and that's our soap here and you'll notice it's great value soap but not really it's actually very special well it may seem kind of obvious but pressure washing is one of the most important things if you're actually going to get the thing clean um, you could honestly do um, hose and stuff if you want but a pressure washer is the way to go I need to get a picture of this other side before we do this so we can see just how bad it is but it's not bad it's just nice paint it's going to take a really nice buff I'll tell you that much so pressure washing seriously it gets in there a bit and a guy wants to kind of hose the car down wash it off a bit and then come back around and do some actual spraying but the first time around will kind of loosen everything up you want to get inside this trim here it holds a lot of dirt over the years taking off by itself. These are actually in pretty good shape. Get it with a razor. Same thing goes for the upper trim. Holds a lot of dirt and dust sometimes. I just like trying on the stickers. that sucker all wet. I'm out of hose here. I'm out of hose. Get me some more hose in here, he said. I get a picture of this one. We're going to do them both at the same time. And um, this one's definitely a little bit rougher. That one are as clean as can be. And it's really going to shape up. Well, actually, get a little work done.
going to town, ain't she? I'm gonna have to give her to someone to look at for a while. Well, seriously, the first time around, really give it some pushing with that power washer, and I haven't put no soap to it yet, and that's the next step. So, actually, it's not the next step, excuse me. Um, I've got that pretty well lit up, and we've got our degreaser here. They got the thing open. Jeez. Get this thing pumped up a bit. Maybe he needs to put water in here. Hey, Trent! Does this need water in it? No, the degreaser? Um, let's help me. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you the wheels and such now. We don't hear if we look. And we got a lot of degreaser in here. And everything below and in the wheel wheels and everything should get degreaser. Um, you need a strong degreaser. We mix our own strengths depending on what we do. These parts here on a Mercedes and any rubberized parts like them, when you're doing the detail, it's really, really, really good to get good pressure, even pressure. And you know, you can get the wand here right up to about six inches, four inches away from it, depending on how burnt out or whatever it is. But the main thing is evenly applied pressurized water. If you don't do it evenly on these parts, what you're going to end up with is a lot of things you can see and gouges and different open and closed spots on them. Um, do it right and it's perfect. Now on a, is that enough? On a um, nice degreaser like this, this also kind of burns the top surface, I guess you would say, a little bit. And gives you a little bit different of a thing. And you want to brush them down as well. Well, you're going to be amazed when you see this thing come out. Really, I mean, you can see how faded it is there, but it's not going to be faded when we're done with it. That is for sure. So, I'm sure you won't have a bug sprayer degreaser. Well, you might, who knows? But all your degreasers should get sprayed really nicely on them, nice and evenly, everywhere. Let it all sit. And a nice degreaser like this should right away eat stuff off the wheels as far as just tar. You'll see how this is, not tar, just road dust and stuff. You'll see it all sitting there in a second. Um, and you can see the factory paint there on that. And then you'll see it a bit more here in a second. When this stuff starts doing its job. Um, I love a Mercedes like this. They have definitely got good night. I can see, when you're doing this, if you do it right, I can see all my rot marks in the tires and stuff, and I can tell they're a little old. Well, heck, that's the perfect time to take note and be very upfront and honest about all this stuff and show people what they're actually buying, which is why I like seeing this stuff as it goes. Trent's looking for a battery, and out of all these cars, I think we don't have one. We shall see. Where's the tire brush at? Man, I like to mix, personally, get a little bit of water and stuff. But these tire brushes are the way to go for this. And if you're gonna do it right, and I'm gonna tell you about it, I might as well tell you, number one, you gotta move the car. You can't leave a little spot there that's not done. You gotta move the car at some point while you're doing this. Also, Follow the grooves of the tire. Okay, I've got it done like that. This tire needs to be done like this now. If you want these tires to look right, you gotta hit them up on them lines too to get them clean. So. Okay, 
ain't nothing wrong with degreasing them a bit too while you're at it, as long as you're not rubbing hard plastic on them. Um, that's the deal. Now, these inner fender wells, all this stuff has to get grimed down, probably not with my new brush here. Um, so I'll hit that up in a second. And this here you'll see just right away with no pressure even that just gives you an amazing result. You'll see when it pops. When you're done, the tires and wheels honestly do give you one of the biggest effects um, and make the car really pop or not. Plain and simple. Um, tires and wheels or tires and hubcaps. Stuff ate a little bit of the paint off. Almost, you can see it there. But it's just like I say, you got to take the top little bit off sometimes to make it good. Well, that's that. And we shall talk to you here in a second. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'll add more in here as we get done. Never hold it with your foot like this. But keep your brush clean early, and it'll really help you out. Right along. I shall talk to you soon. Now I've power washed a little bit of the wheel well here, and you can see it. brake fluid leak or something or just road dust, you know? Let's see, this is all black, but it ain't really black. Yeah. And honestly, it's what you want to get if you're doing this. I'm going to set this down for a second. Just takes that top part off and you might slice into it a couple times a little bit with your power washer and that's okay that's life but it's better than it being black in there it's hard to do holding the camera also hello what can I do for you Okay, I'm scrubbing this thing down. Get something with a little bit of something on it, but you can see, put some elbow grease in that sucker, man, and rub it evenly. Very important to really, really, really wash and scrub the car. Plain and simple. A lot of people don't know this. They don't do things the same way. I'll tell you what, this thing will look good just from a good rub down with this proper soap that I have. And I will be selling all this stuff. Um, I just don't have the proper bottles. And keep your rag wet. And if you're doing this right at this point, you should see the color of the car come off a little bit. No doubt. Just the way it should be. Keep that sucker wet and do it in a nice even manner to where you're actually remembering where you are and not leaving any spots you don't do because this will all play in later when you're trying to get it to match buffing. If you're buffing it and you didn't rub it down properly to begin with, evenly, it's going to make it a harder job to get even. And you should be out of breath, okay? You should be out of breath. Your arm should hurt. And if you're using a camera, well, you should switch at some point. <laughs> but no matter what, scrub, rub, push. This is one stage where you really can't be too tough on it with your little cotton rag. But making sure to get it all, get your trim, get all the way to the ground, underneath even. Your wheel well lip is very important. 
and adds to the overall look when you're done. Um, and this trim here is very important to get also from the bottom even. Just make sure you get all the surfaces. Start, start this thing up here, yeah. And if you keep it wetter and only work in sections like this, that's your best bet. You can see the shine is such just from that. And one thing to be aware of on this is when something is a little faded on the top like this and has that kind of look to it and you can actually get more of the paint to come off as you're scrubbing it. In other words, the white um, soap becomes a little pinkish reddish with this one. Well, you definitely need to make sure that you add a little bit of wax to it at the end. Um, we use a silicone product for most of our stuff. Some of it has no silicone and no wax. Um, it's just more of a compound type thing. Um, but whatever it is, that'll shine it up, that'll make it look great. But with something that's got a more open surface like this, you really got to get in there and kind of um, reseal it and put a shell on it to where the sun doesn't absorb into the paint and you lose it over time. I'm just going to throw some tips like this out there for you to think about as we're detailing this. and. I'll keep showing you more. I'm probably going to put a grill on this one because it's so clean. It's one owner and I just hate that little ding. Um, I got to show you this real quick. I didn't show this anywhere. I show the interior. It's clean and all that. Clean. 128, 139. Sorry, sorry. Not trying to lie to you there. Look at this. Ba bam And I'm not going to show the price. Could be a contest. I don't know how to put this together. I got excited and turned the camera off. That's the Mercedes-Benz receipt. You might as well see the price. If it's a what is it, it'll be before this one. How's that? Well, that's the deal. One owner car guy. What a cool car. And he got the gas mileage rating. Hey, whoever can guess the factory gas mileage rating wins a prize. I'm going to make a contest out of that. Keep an eye on it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. And I'll show you more here after we get this thing all sprayed down and such. I turned it off right before I should have showed you that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Something that's older and been sitting like that should look like that. You should have some a little bit of pink foamish type stuff on it. On this red paint. But wait till you see this thing when we're done. Ooh, buddy, it's going to look good. Well, once you got everything off, all the studs, make sure and wet the whole car down again. Now, believe it or not, drying your car off is also very important. It will also give you a better job. And you should wet it all down first to where it dry off properly. Now, I got it running because I want it to be soaking a little bit. Um, you guys should really Get the underneath here as good as you can before putting degreaser on. I want to give you a close up before. You can tell on this one, everything's clean and tidy. This is normal wear and tear. Um,
kind of getting it washed up on your first little thing. I like to have it running. Um, be prepared to run into some problems doing this sort of thing. Um, this is one of the most troublesome things you can do under a hood. Plain and simple. Always something goes wrong. Always something don't start right next. Always, always, always there's a problem. We need the detail brushes and stuff. And you don't want to get degreaser a lot on your paint. On the edges that you washed already. But you want to get it everywhere under here to be properly degreasy. Well, I'm going to clip this off now. And we'll talk to you in a second. We're going to let this soak quite a while. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com All sorts of unique one and two owner cars, trucks, SUVs. You name it. Just getting everything scrubbed down nice and proper is big and it's kind of the main thing of this. Um, and it takes a little time. It is not a quick process or something that you should just be able to breeze through. Um, hoses, belts, the whole shot should all get scrubbed down. When I'm done scrubbing hoses and belts um, of parts I can see, I've looked at them and I kind of have inspected them. And with a new fresh look of the rubber, it makes it easy to tell if I should replace anything later. Um, these old head valve covers things on this are sometimes a little bit of a pain to make look good. You don't want to mess your linkages and stuff up too much either. But getting it all cleaned up and showing you how it's going and such. And I will be clipping more in here as I do this. I've lost that somewhere. You can't be losing your degreaser as you're degreasing. And same as always on this, whenever you're doing stuff like this, keep it wetted up. Keeping it wetted up will definitely allow you a little bit more freedom of movement and allow you to get a little bit more scrubbed. As you see, we've got two people working here. And one of the best ways to do it, if you've got two people, is go over each other's work. You're never going to catch everything. And just two eyes on it works. So we're going to do some more scrubbing. And I'm actually going to show you. Let's see, look at that, man. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of dust over time. But you get the right brushes, and you can kind of get in there. This ain't no toilet, but I'll scrub it. That's all I know. So, well, that's that. And how, man? Took a grill to the dome. Yeah, he's got to give me some of that. Why are you just the only one with that? Dad leaves all this grease over here and doesn't even give me no degreaser. Cool stuff, man. Well, not that he did that, but cool stuff that is coming off here. Well, that's the ticket. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Look at that. This is not all going to come off of this side, I don't think. His side may, and this bottle brush, toilet brush, actually makes it a little bit easier here for what we're doing. But it's time to start water blasting because it's getting too dry. Contend with sometimes. Contending with a 
Very cold. Heat insulation pad. Well, as you can see, it's definitely a bit not a bit um, fragile. And you gotta make a choice at some point. Do you keep having this stuff fall all over your junk? Or do you just take it off? And on this right here, it's an easy choice. It's gotta come off with these edges. So then you're stuck with this. That ain't too cool. But actually, if you go like this, no, that's just not even cool. So, that in mind, why do you get some water on it? Let it soak it up. I'm gonna go back to doing this for a second. All the scrubbing's been done. We have to do a little bit more like this. Let that stuff soak it up a bit. And I'm gonna let Clint film this.
we go. You see, we just got a little bit on that. Um, it is not a quick process. And we'll scrub it a few more times. Um, you can get as serious as you want about it. Uh, but really, most people put a heel insulation pad under it. I like it with the red. Um, and I'm at least gonna get all that looking better. Let it soak for a little while. Make sure I don't have any debris on the car. Setting up. Now I have washed this. And with this paint being so dry, I chose to wash it before I get under the hood. Just to not discolor the paint as the degreasers and stuff over spray on it and all that. Normally, I would definitely do the motor first. On this particular one, I chose not to. So, that's that. Hope you're enjoying. Here. It's coming off of it. It's a true buddy. 240D. One owner car guy, and here's the car. We got it washed. Breeder's with me now. Breeder, say hello. And she's like, hello. So, well, it's washed and it's cleaned up. And you can see you got little stuff everywhere from where we've blown stuff all over. You're gonna have to do the windows water spots to, we dried it down and then while we were doing other things you know you got some spots back on it it is 100% desanded or whatever degridded and I'll show you under the hood now this one we haven't done anything to I'll show you in the sun too now this one when we're done it's just gonna be an amazing difference seriously you're not even gonna recognize the car um, Seriously, I'm trying to snap a picture here as I'm doing this, and it's got some fade marks in it. It's not going to be perfect, but that's that. Now we've done under the hood on this one. Um, the wheel wells are done. And there's a couple areas on it like that, but it's... Clean, man. Clean, clean, clean. Just like it deserves to be. That's how that ended up looking. Looks pretty good compared to what it did. Um, and that's that. I will put more in here as we start buffing here. Um, we're going to clean the other one up. And then start buffing tomorrow. I think I showed you the window sticker on this one. So, that's that. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.